Hey, it has been a while. I had to get myself together because like I told y'all in my last vlog from two weeks ago, we have a lot going on in our home. And as you can see, I am in a different location. So uh, I'm gonna explain everything that's going on with that and just tell you what's going on. Girl, what are you waiting on? Follow me on Instagram, like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell notification. So on Tuesday the 9th, I was at home chilling, watching the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion in my bedroom with a mask on, just relaxing, honey. And then I hear my husband come home from the gym and I could hear him downstairs doing stuff. So I'm like, okay, he'll be up here in a second. Then he comes upstairs. Now, mind you, the bedroom is dark and I could see him standing at the corner. So I was like, what's up? Cause I could feel that something was wrong with him. And he said, our basement is flooded. And I jumped up y'all, like the vibes were ruined. Um, so apparently when he pulled up to the house, our neighbor to our left, um, ran up to him and was like, my basement is flooded, you need to check yours. So our neighbor to the left went to everyone's um, house to let them know, and all of our houses were flooded with sewer water. So <clears throat> every house that is connected, which is five of us, had our basements flooded. So that was at 8 p.m., um, our neighbor over here who first discovered it will call him Thomas. Thomas called, Thomas and his wife and the mother-in-law called like um, the fire department. The fire department came and said that they couldn't do anything. I can't remember what their thinking was behind calling the fire department. Um, I think the idea was if y'all could put water in homes, y'all could take water out. <laughs> So they were trying to do that. The fire department said that we needed to call the city. The city came and they um, checked out the problem with the sewer. Come to find out the sewer was backed up. When they removed the manhole cover, they could see that the water had risen up. Um, so then um, Thomas called other um, like water damage companies. So then the one um, water damage company that was available um, immediately basically came out and then they serviced four out of five of our houses that were connected. The one um, family that went with, an, um, went with another company out of the five. Um, so they came, started doing the water mitigation for our basement. They removed all of the sewer water and then um, had to put fans and stuff downstairs, I believe. Um, that was Tuesday and then I believe it was on another day I can't remember I went downstairs after my husband was like you should see what's going on or something like that and I went downstairs I saw it, and I just cried y'all I cried because we literally just finished our basement five months ago all of our hard work was out the door um, we put in so much work to renovate our home. We just bought it two years ago, literally two years ago of November, November 2019, we bought our home and our basement is just ripped to shreds. Um, all of the flooring had to be pulled up. Um, the drywall has been cut in two feet from the ground. So it's all just exposed and my house is in complete disarray. I do not function well in visual clutter and chaos. Like my linen closet is labeled and organized. Our closet is labeled and organized. Like I do not function well in that kind of environment. So the first week has been very, the first week was very um, disheartening troubling overwhelming to my spirit just because my eyes never got a break it's basically like being my home is basically like being in a forever 21 store 24 7. that's how it feels because remember there was furniture in the basement 
So the furniture in the basement had to be moved to the second level. So my second level living room has our sofa, chairs, bookshelves, all of that from the basement in the living room. And it's all covered in plastic. Like I have to climb over furniture to get to my plants to water my plants. It's, it's a mess. Then other furniture is in my dining room. So I haven't been able to sit at our dining room table to eat in almost three weeks because next Tuesday um, will mark the Tuesday after Thanksgiving because I don't know whatever day you're watching this will mark the three week mark. And then I also have furniture in my kitchen. I have a bathroom vanity sink sitting in my kitchen. That new bathroom vanity that I showed y'all in our basement renovation vlog is sitting in my kitchen. The only level of our home that is not in disarray is our third floor. And check this out. I wanted us to have a very zen home. So we only have two TVs because it's two people in this home. One in the bedroom, one in the basement. It is currently football season. I am losing my mind. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Um, the county, because the issue started with a sewer, um, the county said that it would take seven to 10 business days for them to accept responsibility of the problem. And then of course, pay for the rectification of that problem. The 10th business day was the Friday before Thanksgiving weekend. So last Friday and they have not given us a formal answer yet. And mind you, there was Veterans Day in the meantime, so that was a business, that was not a business day, they were off. And then we had Thanksgiving, and then of course the day after Thanksgiving because government facilities aren't open. So three days of our life just doesn't count for them because they're not open for business. So. 10 business days for them has been two weeks of chaos for us. And now we're coming up on week three on Tuesday. So that's everything that's going on. Um, like I said, that started on November 9th. Our home's two year anniversary of our closing date was the 19th. We just had Thanksgiving. We had to cancel some of our Thanksgiving plans because of that. And then the Christmas holidays are coming up. I am hoping and praying that everything will be complete before Thanksgiving. I would like to put up a tree. I would like to decorate. I'm getting emotional because this is this has just been a lot. Um, I'm hoping that it's all done soon because I don't know how much longer I can take this. Um, so we're just waiting on the county to accept responsibility for everything. Um, and in the meantime, we have our contractor that we like who could have started the work last weekend, but um, you don't want to start work before the county accepts responsibility because I don't know if the adjuster or whatever is going to have to come to our home and I'd rather them see the house in chaos so that they can know everything that's going on um, than to have it all fixed up and have that affect um, how much they're willing to pay. Um, so yeah, Christmas is coming up. I would like to put up a tree. I would like to decorate, um, but we will see how that goes. It seems like, um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I was doing okay, but with my husband and then our aunt saying that they don't know if our house is gonna be done by Christmas, it's just messing with me. So that's all that I have y'all. Um, hopefully the house will be done soon. The guy who was our contact for the county is saying that he's trying to speed up our process. So we'll see how that goes. We turn in all of our paperwork. Um, and then I'll just pray. I've been praying this whole time, resting and believing that God is going to make us whole plus some. But I wasn't um, able to share because like in the beginning, because I was afraid that I was gonna get super emotional. And also because like, with it being like with insurance and all that being involved i didn't want to talk too soon because you just never know what you have to do to protect yourself and your property and i you know didn't want to say anything that could you know mess up this whole process so 
hopefully the next time um, I do a video, hopefully it's a vlog or something of our basement being made over. And in the meantime, I will catch y'all later. Bye.